everyone, Eggman here with a, another video, and today we're going to talk about my Lord Slug set 13 list that I've been working on, and I played on my last Dragon Ball Super stream. I haven't played Dragon Ball Super in a little bit, so I was a little rusty, but I also do have some sped up gameplay at the end of it, if you guys are interested in that, uh, with a link in the description to when that starts, if you just care about that. But here is the list real quick, uh, you know, uh, there isn't a lot of changes from set 12 for this list, there are a couple new cards that are printed for it. And uh, additionally, we did lose Master Roshi, which I felt was a really in uh, integral part of the list just because you want to be able to cy uh, cycle your dormant potentials. And I felt like that was kind of the, the way that the deck won, right? You you kind of had the stall deck that made your opponent draw cards and the deck out and you win from that. Uh, it, I, that's pretty much how I did it for a really long time. And it, it felt like it worked moderately well, uh, but we kind of have to use our dormant potentials a little bit more uh you know smart this time because we only have the four instead of the the potential eight we had before but i think that's still fine i think it's still playable we did get some new cards specifically we got the new one drop wing supporter the uh, sorry wing supporting the master's wish a unique blocker permanent when activating a rejuvenate skill of one of your green unison cards if your lead card is a green slug army card and your opponent has seven or more cards in their hands reduce the number of markers removed by that skill by one which is really handy to get your rejuvenation which being able to rejuvenate uh, early is great, especially you want to be able to use the rejuvenate part of Lord Slug uh, Awakening, in my opinion. Uh, but uh, just because you get to draw the two and flip over very early, otherwise it's just an untap to draw once. And sometimes you can't really afford to untap uh, or not get the untap, especially if you you, you know, kind of lose your unison because of it. But this the slug or sorry this wing really helps out a lot with all that and also when this card activates this blocker skill you get you and your opponent both draw one uh, which out you know without having to put it on the bottom of your deck so that's great this is also a really good target to get back with your uh, activate main from your Lord Slug effect on the backside as well just a general very good card and we just need more uh, one drop targets for. Uh, you know, King Piccolo may not make a lot of sense for it, especially since we had like a bunch of unique dudes and stuff. But we also do get Surprise Stack Angela. We kind of, this is a promo that existed, but this is a really good target for it. The, you know, OG Lord Slug 1 uh, from set 12 for this deck is great. And then also Kakunsa being able to uh, just get some much needed pressure for the deck. Uh, when this card is played, draw one, and then also activate once per turn. You can burst two if your opponent has eight or more cards in their hand and three or more energy. This card gains plus 16k power and double strike until the start of your next main phase. So that could just be really nice at pressuring your opponent and you know doing some damage for them without having to invest a lot for it. Bursting two can kind of hurt us though because we do kind of play the long stall game, but I think it's very strong there. And then also, uh, so that those are kind of the one drops. Two drops didn't really change that much. Uh, we do have Lord Slug Return to Form and uh, Zuin the Loyal. We also do have the new Homicidal Clones uh, and Sacrifices, two more negates. I don't really know how I feel about this card yet. It's cool, but we kind of have to take a life for it, which kind of defeats the purpose of it. And we don't really need that, that body as much since we do play a lot of natural blockers already. So I don't think we need this card. If you like running this card, you can. You can also just run four Sacrifice. I, I really do like Sacrifice being able to self-awaken us and hard stop the attack as well but that's up to you guys um but yeah being able to have we, we have seven blockers in this deck already so i don't think it's a, a big deal uh metamacho for these as well we're keeping with dr Jero for our super combo even though we can't get roshis to it because just being able to get metamacho in there can be really handy uh this this can let you go like plus two still because you get to draw two cards and be able to uh you know play a meta token and be able to take a life if you need to uh, all those can be really, really handy. Additionally, uh, we do run two of the Android 13 Mission Begins. This this is like a helpful from either the drop area or hard playing it. Uh, so auto at the start of your opponent's turn, they choose two of their battle cards and KO them. It's unique double strike and you can just arrive for one green, so it's kind of nice there. And also has the active main for one, so this card from your drop area to your warp, choose one of your opponent's battle cards at any cost of three or less and KO it. We do have some removal with our Lord Slug Return to Life, but we do have some, you know, since we have a bunch of these one drops, if your opponent plays like a Black Mass Saiyan, uh, being able to get this Android 13 just to pop it can help you out and gain some value there. Other than that, uh, nothing too out of the ordinary. Angela Invaded Earth is a strong card. Lord Slug Thwart our Plans is a strong card. We decided to put two of the Vegeta Resolute Agent of Destruction here just for some. Uh, more card destruction. Uh, I felt like I had some hard time about, you know, barrier dudes. And this can just be a really good finisher for us as well. Um, even even so, the, uh, you know, even being able to discard cards from their hands late game is, is really handy for us. 
uh, and everything else. And I decided to change the secret rare. A lot of people were telling me to do it, so I did to the Black Smoke Dragon Eternal Evil. This card is nice. It doesn't have any protection, which kind of sucks. But uh, you can make your opponents in the top seven of their cards to their warp, which can win you the game a lot of the time in game if they're not expecting it and they don't have like any way to negate the skill. So I think it's worth it. Uh, obviously, it's low. Not it's not as flexible as like Selzino, but it's not as specific. You just have to get to the five energy, which is nice. And uh, there we go. There, I think I think it's it's probably the better one, but it's it's really up to you though. Uh, if if you like one or the other, it's definitely the cheaper one. But uh, I think it's I think it makes sense for for what this deck's trying to do. And this is the generic build here. Uh, I think it's pretty uh, self-explanatory. Not a lot of changes from my set twelve build, but I think some some strong points for for what it has. And I don't really have a lot more to say about it. So let's go into the match. All right, so here's our match against Random Ant from my stream, playing the new Toa. Uh, I hadn't seen the Toa before, but uh, I do know that playing a kind of mill strategy against uh, Overrealm deck uh, really helps us out a little because they just like to you know fill up the drop area for us. But uh, I'm just and I'm just reading it because I, <laughs> I hadn't seen this card before. Uh, no, no shame there. But uh, we get to go first. I play the Angela, look top five, and I'm able to find the Unison, which really helped me out because I need that uh, immensely. Uh, to help me out with my strategies. Uh, Charge Gravy swings in. I'll take the one there. Uh, look at what they burst, but I just take the one, get the sacrifice. Plays the new Dremager in unison, and then also was able to play the Trunks for over on three. Fill up the their drop for three uh, with the burst, and also the plus one of the Dremager swings there. And then I just take the, the one after talking for like way too long about how the burst one worked. I, it was embarrassing. Don't worry about it. Anyways. Take the one, get the Lord Slug, and as my turn, swing the uh, charge the Frieza, swing in to get both of us to draw one, uh, and then also you can't combo with Demigod. It makes him up to seven, which is the magic number for Slug. Uh, he also wanted me to just make sure I knew what the backside did, which uh, I did appreciate. I was I was pretty slow playing this game, so I, I do random it. Uh, I do appreciate the patience there, but had seven in hand, so I can play Piccolo for one. Uh, then use the effect to charge, uh, put that underneath to play another Angela top five. Uh, still no of the the one drop slug, but that's fine. Uh, get another of the three drop slugs uh, swing in there to pop the demigra, and I think that's it. I just pass. So uh, that's that's it for me on, on there. Uh, and they're probably going to swing in with the Toa on the Unison. Yeah, that's correct. And I decide to use the uh, sacrifice just to make sure that I could have my Frieza still alive which is part of the reason I, I like Sacrifice so much, and I take the life just because I felt like I need more resources. Uh, I end up really needing that Frieza, which is a big thing, so I'm able to pop the Demigra and, and just go from there. Obviously, I get to, he has to work the Frieza, but that's fine. Uh, charge one of the three-drop slugs, look uh, for one-drop slug, finally I get it. Uh, use the effect of my leader uh, to, I think, yeah, I swing in first just because so, I need some more card draw to see what I have. And now with my my extra piccolo in hand, I could rejuvenate this turn, which is really handy. So I end up putting another one of the three drop slugs underneath the unison to draw one and then play that to draw one as well. And then I use the, I think I use the free play to, uh, yeah, 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 I use the, the two drop to find the three drop slug. Then I use the free play to play the three drop slug. And then after that, I swing in there, uh, combo that, and then they get there. So I end up doing that way because I can play the two drop slug for my drop or for my hand for free or for my drop here for free because they've got what 14 cards in hand a lot of cards in hand right now do the plus one uh, accidentally hot keyed out there so uh, do the plus one to rejuvenate which means I'm able to draw two go from there I have an energy open for dormant which is really helpful and then I also am able to free play the slug again uh, for two uh, to find from my deck. Um, a yeah the three drop slug and i swing in there 15k uh, he combos which means i use my my leader effect to draw one and then we're done well not my leader effect my three drop so plays another demigrain unison uh plays the one drop goku uh which does not work with this leader at least the the counter to to stop attack but he is able to play the uh bardock super saiyan 4 which is pretty scary dual attack, and then also now has Wormhole, which means he's able to play the Trunks as well, uh, so just being able to build his bodies there. Uh, I'm not too worried about uh, dying right now, though, because I have six, uh, and 
so he just, you know, he's going really aggressive on, on face right now. So I just decided to take the, or, he swings in with leader, but my, my leader is 20k, and so uh, he just keeps it there. Bardock, I take the one, swings again with Bardock. I end up doing the combo to get a meta matcha in there, so stop the swing. Uh, and then if he swings with Trunks, he'd have to combo again, so he just passes the turn. Uh, that that Lord Slug is really helpful for making sure that like if they they don't want a combo, which is nice. Uh, and so I end up swinging with there into there, combo my two drop Slug, just get in the drop area, and then for uh, for free I'll be able to play it later in the turn. I'm gonna play another Piccolo for one energy as well, putting a three drop Angela because I won't be low in cards anymore to get a new uh, wings for my deck. I'm able to play the. Uh, Lord Slug there to pop the Bardock, uh, which is super nice. Uh, and then al also, if the uh, the Toa effect makes it so the overwhelm cards don't go back to the uh, don't get off the field at the end of the turn, so that's why they they stayed there in case anyone's worrying about that. Uh, and then also free play, be able to swing leader. And then on top of that, I've, there's just so many play like Slug has so many plays. It's it's so intricate, and you have to like really be on focus to all the. All the things that really go on. So combo super combo. I use my uh, my slug effect to be able to draw one. Does another super combo. It does not have a lot of cards left in deck, which is super nice, especially since I have the secret rare in my hand. Swing my leader or my unison there. Uh, I get the android thirteen to my drop area uh, to do that. Combos with two guys on board. So I decide to use the one to pop the uh, pop the trunks on board. Swing there for another fifteen k swing just combos the Frieza and then I think that's it I've got two energy open but uh, I don't really have anything else I really want to do so I'm just playing the two blockers uh, put another marker on my my unison because I was able to see all four of this game which is really handy and let's see what they can do so they play the unison out and that's what the the Toa scale you can do that from your drop air which helps it out plays another Bardock uh, and I just freeze it outright, which feels real good. Uh, they still have wormhole, so they can do one more overrun this turn if they want to. But I can tell like they don't have a lot of um, plays from this deck since I took their overrun away. Uh, I decided to, to, to do dormant just to make sure I capitalize on that. Swings in, uh, and we both get to draw a card for blocking. Uh, I end up doing the block there as well. Uh, charge a meta matcha. Think really hard if there's anything that they can do to punish me for. I mean, and there is. There's like a bunch of things they can't, but no fear. Play the secret rare. Make them warp the top seven of their deck and just win on the spot there. So that's the game for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know this deck is really complicated, and I know I'm not always the best at explaining it, but I hope you guys were able to follow it. Uh, thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you all next time. Hey.